Hey guys, welcome back to EAK TV. I'm delighted to have Sabine Royce with us, the head of events at Salamantics. Welcome. Um, so, what brings you to Delta Summit? Obviously, you're head of events, so why did Delta Summit you know, stand out to you as an event you should be at? Hi, first of all, welcome and happy to be in the interview. Um, Malta, we see as a big market for us. Um, as I personally, I'm based in Malta, so it's like a home game for me. Um, and also, um, Malta is called Blockchain Island, and we already have, uh, we are POS, so point of sale and uh, crypto payment service provider. Um, enabling merchants acceptance of cryptocurrencies and we already have a few point of acceptance in Malta like restaurants, um, bars and also gaming institutions that already accept crypto in Malta with our POS. Um, so Malta is a very huge market for us. Nice. Um, so tell us more about other markets that you'll see in adoption of the Salamantex point of sale system. So basically, uh, we are currently working whole Europe, a lot of countries in Europe, let's say. Um, we are also expanding to Asia, so Southeast Asia, um, and also Middle East. So this we see as a very huge market. Africa, we want to expand as well, but after. Um, I think like basically everybody, every merchant, every industry, every business owner that accepts payments should also accept crypto in order to get the mass adoption and um, I see it also very important that also the crypto owners and the crypto believers the crypto enthusiasts so-called really go out and pay with crypto not only hold it for making money really use it and spend it otherwise we won't get any mass adoption um, and uh, you can have the best technology when nobody is using it and you are not able to pay your goods in a shop, then people won't really see it as a mass adoption, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's true. And I do think that ultimately we want people to be spending their crypto so it can eventually either rival or take over fiat currency, depending on what side of the fence you sit on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm interested to know what kind of crypto, what types of crypto I can spend using Salamantex software and also how you decide which you know currencies to list um, so currently we are focusing only on the top ones we have bitcoin litecoin dash efa ripple and stella so six coins um, why because we offer direct fiat exchange um, which means we need a certain amount of volume a day in order to provide this smoothly without completely dumping the price um, because we will have with our partnership with Ingenico, for example, where we will be listed on their marketplace. That they have already 30 million terminals out in the market worldwide in 170 countries. And we will be listed on their marketplace. So their existing clients can just download it and then use Salamantex um, to uh, accept crypto payments. And we also partnered up with um, A1, which is the Telecom Austria and Concardis in order to also accept WeChat and Alipay. So we are not only a crypto payment service provider anymore, we call us as digital payment service provider because we see that digital payment is the future. More and more people are willing to spend money with their mobile phone. They don't want to use cash anymore because it can be stolen or whatever. It's just easy, smooth, ca cardless, cashless um, to pay with. And we want to be the leading parts in this uh, field because the market is so huge um, and um, yeah what we that's basically what we do partnering up with the leading part parts in this field to grow big and to grow global um, so let's see where we will be in two years time I'm super excited to see that as well okay cool so okay cool so can you walk us through like the actual process of like me you know, putting in my my credit card, um, you know, buying something with Bitcoin. Like, what happens on the back end when I do that? And like, what happens with? Ex like, I guess you're partnered with like exchange partners that buy and sell. So like, if I'm a retailer, that I always get the right amount of you know fiat money back, right? If I'm a retailer, I don't get the Bitcoin. It comes back in euros or whatever I want it. So tell us more about that. Um, so first of all, um, if I as a client or you as a client you go there and you say to the merchant hey, I want to pay with Bitcoin yeah. then he types in the fiat amount 
he usually charges, let's say, let's say 100 euro. Um, then uh, we, he choose Bitcoin because you said you want to pay with Bitcoin. Then we generate the exchange rate, which we get directly from exchange partners. We, uh, like we generate a QR code that already integrates the amount. The client just needs to scan it with his Bitcoin wallet, whatever wallet he's using. If the, we check in the background if the payment is valid and after three seconds, if everything is checked, about three seconds is taking, um, then the payment is processed. And then the merchant can decide whether he wants to keep the Bitcoin. But then he has, of course, the volatility risk because Bitcoin can either rise or fall. So they all want to have it directly exchanged into euro. So he will get 100 euro on his bank account minus our fees. And um, who are the biggest, uh, you know, retailers or businesses that Salamantex currently, you know, is, 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 has adopted? Um, so far, I would say the Telecom Austria. Um, we are for now in seven flagship stores installed um, where their clients can pay with cryptocurrencies in order to get iPhones, smartphones and so on. Um, and we also have a partnership, as I already mentioned, with them. So there is a lot more coming up with them. I saw some news recently, I think I saw it in Coindesk actually, a few days ago with Sanomantix, uh had done a deal with, I think it was a German bank. Yes. So do you want to tell us a little bit more about what that was about? Um, we just announced this week that we partnered up with a Bafin approved bank, full banking license with a full banking license in Germany. So we will um, have a fintech site branch with them together, which is called 1031. And with them together, we are offering bank accounts for fintech and blockchain companies. And this is what the market needs. Because a lot of banks, they just don't understand the market. They are um, scared of risking something because they don't know about it. And uh, our partner, he's very crypto friendly and he knows the technology and he understands it. So he understood the, like the possibilities he has when he is adopting and he's uh, accepting crypto users. But of course the KYC process and everything is very regulated, but we do accept, or he does, we do, um, blockchain companies, if they need a bank account, you can reach out, out to me um, and I will connect you. Um, cool, so that's obviously a really exciting announcement, so congratulations. Um, and yeah, just tell me a little bit more about, about Salamantex, like how big is the team, you know, what kind of, like, uh, sorry, what, how big is the team and like uh, what kind of, what's in store over the next, you know, 12, 24 months on your roadmap? Um, we grow, we started two years ago. Um, we started with seven people and we grew to over, over 30 people so far. Um, we are in Asia and in um, Austria, uh, Europe, let's say. Um, our main office is in Austria. Um, what is, it's hard to say what is going on in, two, in one year because we have never even expected to get so fast, so big partnerships. Um, but when we just continue the way we are, uh, the way we do with partnering up with such big leaders in the market. I see ourselves in the future as a global leader when it comes to digital payments for sure. Um, and also, we always worked right after the book. So we were fully compliant. We had uh, country specific adoption. So we checked everything beforehand, which at the end was beneficial for us because this is why the, such global leaders trusted in us and wanted to work with us. Awesome. Cool. So uh, for our viewers to you know, find out more about Salamantics, where should we go? What should we do? Um, w, uh, www, of course, <laughs> at salamantics.com and also social media, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, my name is Sabine Royce, so you can also reach me out on LinkedIn or you just follow the company page. Sabine, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. That's EAK TV. Don't forget to like, subscribe below, and we'll see you again next time.